Well, once again, COVID-19 cases are beginning to spike and we have easily surpassed 60,000 new cases over the last couple of days. Now, I don't know how bad it's going to get, how high that number will go, but this isn't necessarily surprising if you listen to the experts, the scientists, the epidemiologists, because they warned us that as the weather changes, as it gets colder and more and more people congregate indoors, this will lead to a spike in cases. So once again, the experts, the scientists have been proven right. Everything that they warned us about is now coming to fruition, but that doesn't stop idiots like Donald Trump and his ilk from still criticizing scientists, demonizing scientists. And it's honestly shocking because you'd think that if they actually had an interest in winning this election that's approaching in two weeks, they'd at least pretend to be grownups. But they don't know how to act like adults. They just don't. And just this week, we learned that Donald Trump called Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's top infectious disease expert, an idiot. And Trump's attacks on Anthony Fauci have gotten so bad that he revealed in a 60 Minutes interview, he now has to be accompanied by a security detail at all times because he receives so many death threats and his family is now receiving nonstop harassment. And this isn't just because of Donald Trump, it's also because of Fox News, OAN, Tucker Carlson, all of the sycophants around Donald Trump who support him, who are helping him perpetuate these attacks and smears on individuals like Dr. Fauci, who are just trying to give us the information that we desperately require because we need transparency, we need information, we need statistics, but Donald Trump doesn't want that because he thinks that this is all about him. It's all an attempt to make him look bad. But regardless, I mean, this has led to a massive backlash among the public, which is why Donald Trump is down in the polls currently. But what does he do? He ends up leaning into all of these idiotic attacks, attacks Dr. Fauci more, criticizes him even more. Um, and he just, he doesn't know how to help himself. Again, he can't even put up this facade that he cares, that he's taking the scientists seriously. And what is he doing now? Well, at a recent rally, he decided to attack Joe Biden in a way so mind-numbingly stupid. I have no doubt in my mind this is actually going to help Joe Biden. And the reason why I know that this is going to help Joe Biden is because even Joe Biden knows this is going to help him because he's promoting what Trump said here at this rally. If you vote for Biden, he will surrender your jobs to China. He will surrender your future to the virus. He's going to lock down. This guy wants to lock down. He'll listen to the scientists. If I listened totally to the scientists, we would right now have a country that would be in a massive depression instead of we're like a rocket ship. Take a look at the numbers. And that's despite the fact that we have like five or six of these Democrats keeping their states closed because they're trying to hurt us on November 3rd. But the numbers are so good anyway, they'd be even better. Look, as a leftist, I can find literally hundreds of reasons to attack Joe Biden. But what Trump just said there is not a reason why we'd attack Joe Biden. My argument would be that he's not listening to the scientists enough, right? Because during a pandemic, we need more than just for you to increase testing. We need a $2,000 a month UBI. We need Medicare for all. So if I'm going to criticize Joe Biden for anything, it's that he's not listening to the scientists enough. But what does Trump say? He's going to listen to the scientists mockingly, he says it, as if that's a bad thing. Um, he says, I'll listen to the scientists. If I totally listened to the scientists, we would right now have a country that would be in a massive depression instead of uh, we're, we're like a rocket ship. Take a look at the numbers. That's what he says. So understand there that he has no concern whatsoever for the amount of people affected with COVID-19 or the people who have died, the 218,000 family members who lost a loved one because of this pandemic. All he cares about is the numbers. But if he actually listened to the scientists, it's not like we wouldn't be in an economic depression because that would depend on what we do. But regardless, we would still probably be in a depression right now. But the difference is that maybe we wouldn't have so many people infected with the illness. Maybe we wouldn't have so many people die from this disease because we have 4% of the world's population, but 25% of all COVID cases as of June. This is a failure of leadership. This shows that Donald Trump should have listened to scientists more. But now he is literally attacking Joe Biden, mocking him because he wants to listen to the scientists. I mean, you have to be an imbecile to think this is going to land. I, I honestly cannot believe that Donald Trump is using this line of attack right now when there's just a couple of weeks out until the election and he's down. He has to at least pretend to be a serious person, but he, he can't even fake it to make it. 
Now, this attack is so bad uh, that Joe Biden is promoting it because Joe Biden even knows this is going to help him. So in response to a headline on Twitter from The Hill saying, uh, Trump says Biden will listen to scientists if elected, Joe Biden responded simply by saying, dot, 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 yes. And that's all he has to say. Listen, if your attacks are so bad that your opponent is willingly promoting them, you are running a terrible campaign. Now, on top of that tweet, Joe Biden also responded with an ad. Uh, but first, he says, for once, Donald Trump is correct. I will listen to scientists. And he then shared this video. If you vote for Biden, he'll listen to the scientists. He wants to listen to Dr. Fauci. He wants to listen to Dr. Fauci. I mean, the ad writes itself. The ad writes itself. In my opinion, some of the most effective anti-Trump Joe Biden ads have been videos that they've put out where they just like don't even edit Donald Trump. They just let Trump uh, have enough rope to hang himself. And that's it. You know, a video of Trump saying, if I lose this election to Joe Biden, I will go away forever. And then it cuts to Joe Biden saying, I'm Joe Biden. I approve this message. I mean, Donald Trump is his own worst enemy. It's hilarious. I mean, you love to see it because he needs to be defeated. But I mean, you, you just think that there'd be at least a little bit more common sense, if not like with him specifically, then the people around him would think, all right, this clearly is something that we shouldn't say. And it's that stupid because this is definitely going to play well, like with his cultists at his rallies. But I mean, overall, the normal, like the average person who's going to be voting is not going to like what Donald Trump is saying. If Trump says Joe Biden is going to listen to the scientists more, that is going to make them like Joe Biden more. And this was confirmed in a poll from last month that the New York Times and Siena College published, where they found that, I mean, Americans, they still trust medical scientists, the CDC and Dr. Fauci overwhelmingly. It's not even close. So 84% of Americans trust medical scientists, and that does include 75% of Republicans. 77% of Americans trust the CDC. That includes 71% of Republicans. 67% uh, of Americans trust Dr. Fauci. That includes still a slight majority of Republicans at 51%. And only 26% of Americans trust Donald Trump when it comes to COVID-19. Now, when you compare Donald Trump and Dr. Anthony Fauci among trust within the Republican Party, you do see that most Republicans trust Trump more than Dr. Fauci, uh, although they still do trust scientists more than Donald Trump. But Donald Trump needs independents to win who trust Dr. Fauci and scientists more than him. So, I mean, if you're looking at this at face value and you think, okay, it looks like Republicans trust Trump more than Anthony Fauci, maybe we should let him lean into these attacks, you'd be mistaken because you already have Republicans on lock. The goal is to win undecided voters. The goal is to win independence. The goal is to get some of those Obama to Trump voters to remain loyal and uh, not flip back to the Democratic Party. That's if you're Donald Trump. But Donald Trump doesn't seem like he's playing to win. And that's good because he's got to go. But you'd think that there'd be at least a little bit more competence from the guy who actually ran a surprisingly good campaign in 2016. I mean, there were times where I questioned if he was serious about winning. But overall, he was more capable of reading the room in 2016. He knew that there was this anti-establishment populist sentiment throughout the country and he capitalized on it but now the mood in the country is entirely different people are exhausted when it comes to COVID-19 and he rightfully states you know that people are sick and tired of it they are um they have COVID-19 fatigue but it's because we're not doing anything about it we're all irritated that we still have to social distance and wear masks but that doesn't mean, oh, well, let's just stop doing it. That means let's get someone in there that's going to take it seriously. So look, this election is not over yet. It's not a foregone conclusion that Joe Biden is going to win. But if Donald Trump does in fact lose, this is definitely going to be part of the story. This is definitely going to be part of the reason why. Because he is so tone deaf that he can't even pretend that he's a responsible grown up. Where you're literally making fun of your opponent because they're going to trust the scientists during a global pandemic. I mean, if you do something like that, you deserve to lose because you're that out of touch. You're that dim-witted. 
girly Mike Fettuccini needs your support on Patreon. What a loser. Visit patreon.com slash humanist report to support the low ratings humanist report. Sad. My views are much higher.